Hi kids, welcome to our grammar class. So what we studied in the last class? Yeah, we studied simple past tense. Yes. So what what are the things we studied? Yeah, we studied simple present tense and simple past tense. Isn't it? Huh? So what is the role for simple present tense? Subject plus verb. Yes. That is, we can use S or ES to the verb. If it is a plural form, we have to, we don't use S or ES. If it is a singular, we have to use S or ES to the verb. Plus object. Yes. In past tense. Yes, in past tense. Subject plus yeah, the past form of the verb plus the object. Yes. So now we are going to study what? Future tense. So what is future tense? So what is simple future tense? Yeah, it talks about actions or events that will happen later. Hmm? That is going to happen. That is happening in the future. Understood? Huh? So it talks about action or events hmm? that will happen later. Understood? Huh? It can be also a decision or a promise or a hope hmm? huh? that will happen later. Hmm? That also we can use in simple future tense. Understood children? So, a simple future tense means it talks about the action or events or some decisions you have uh, or any events hmm? or any promise or a hope. Huh? That all we can write in future tense. Understood? It talks about future. So, what will happen later? Understood? So, next we will see what is the rule for that. Okay? That is subject plus what we have to add? We have to add will or shall. Understood? Will or shall. But we usually use will. Understood? Will or shall we can use but we usually use what? Will. Plus verb plus the object. Understood? Huh? So we can use subject plus will plus verb plus the object. For example, I will go to the swimming pool tomorrow. I will go to the swimming pool. Here I is what? I is the subject. Understood? Plus will. Plus will. Plus verb. Goes what? Verb. Understood? A root form of the verb. I will go to the swimming pool tomorrow. Understood? So, in future tense, we have to add will or shall uh, to the root form of the verb. Understood? Uh, so, future tense, simple future tense always says the action or event that takes place later. Understood? So that is, it talks about future. Understood? Going to happen. Understood, children? So, what is the rule for that? Subject plus will plus will of shall plus verb plus object. Understood? Huh? So, I will give you some more examples. Okay? Now, look here. I will give you the book tomorrow. I will give you the book tomorrow. So, uh, the action is taking place later. Isn't it? Huh? So, I will give you the book tomorrow. So, we have to use will plus what? Will plus the root form of the verb. Understood? The base verb. So, I will give you the book tomorrow. I will give. Understood? Huh? I will go to Mumbai this year. I will go. I will go to Mumbai this year. So the action is ah, coming, isn't it? Ah? Yeah, is happening later. I will play with my friends at school tomorrow. So 
I will play. Understood? Play. <coughs> will play. I think our team will win. Understood? I think our, our team will win. Will win. Understood children? Huh? Next. I am going to see my sister in April. I am going to. So, going to is also used to say future. Understood? Uh, I am going to. Understood? Yeah. She is going to meet her best friend on Saturday. Going to meet her best friend on Saturday. So, going to is also used to mention future tense. Okay? In simple future tense, we have to use uh, will plus for base form of the verb. Understood? We can also use going to or shall for mentioning the future tense. Understood? Simple future tense. So, what is simple future tense? Yeah. Uh, it tells or describes an action or events that, that will take place later. Understood? Uh, in later, <clears throat> in the future. Understood? Uh, or it tells about future. Understood children? So what we have to use? We have to use will plus base form of the verb. Understood? Yeah, I will give. Will give. Will go. Will play. Will win. Going to. Going to is also used there. Uh, to say the future. And I'm going to meet my friend tomorrow. Understood? Uh, I'm going to give this book tomorrow. Uh, so, this is also used in future tense. Understood children? So, you understood what is simple present tense, simple past tense and simple future tense. Understood? So, we have studied three tenses. A uh, simple present tense, simple past tense and simple future tense. As we have to study uh, another tense that is present continuous tense. Understood? Uh, so, till here you understood what is what is tense and what are the different types of tenses? Hmm? Yes. So, what is simple future tense? Yeah, it describes uh, it describes the action or event that, that takes place in future. Understood? Uh, so, we have to use what? Yeah, will or shall or we can use going to. Okay? Uh, yes. So, just do the exercise. Okay, children? Exercise given in the textbook. Hmm? Ah, so, I will uh, take the next tense that is present continuous tense in the next class. Okay? That's all for this day. Thank you and have a good day.